Sometimes your YouTube ad videos, they're going, the audiences, because of the targeting, is going to be expensive. You're gonna see notice that your CPMs are higher than usual. And here are some factors as to why. So the very first thing you gotta look at is your ad CTR. If your click-through rate on your ad is low, and by low, I mean anything lower than 1%, ideally you want it around one and a half percent or higher, you're gonna have high click costs. At the end of the day, in any ad platform, you really want to work with the algorithm. And for that to work properly, you have to give it what they want. In the eyes of these ad platforms, it's a matter of engagement and there's no better metric for engagement. For them, in most cases, the most important metric is that the customer is willing to click on the ad. So the ad CTR, you want it as high as possible. Another reason why you may get getting expensive clicks is the length of the ad. For whatever reason, in YouTube ads, when your ad creative is longer than let's say two, three minutes, usually the price goes up. So you may want to, in most cases, you wanna hit a sweet spot. If you follow a certain formula for copywriting, you realize that you fall between one and a half and two and a half minutes in most ads. So that's usually the sweet spot where I try to aim for. But having said that, it doesn't mean you can't have a longer ad. I've had situations where a longer ad made sense. That's more less likely than common, but you wanna look at that. Your ad creative length will cause your CPMs to go up. The third reason that your YouTube ads could be going expensive is that your audience is too small. I know that everyone wants an audience that will convert right away, but imagine that you're trying to sell X widgets and someone else is trying to sell the same type of widgets in the same type of industry, guess what? They're going to use the same type of targeting when it comes to uh, placement targeting or maybe even keyword targeting. And there, in some cases, yes, the audience may be large, but if you're going specifically very, very niche, especially this happens a lot in B2B, you're gonna realize that the audience is going to run out so your CPMs are going to be higher, which takes me to the next reason why your YouTube ads or it's expensive, it's just the competition. Now, while yes, it makes sense if you're using a very restrictive targeting that there's gonna be more competition, more people bidding to be on the same placement. But let's just say, hey, I wanna use one of the Google stock audiences that are more broad. Let's just say affinity investors. That is not as small an audience, that's a bigger audience. However, everyone, lots of products, you're going to want people that have the capacity to buy your product. And because of that, there's gonna be certain audiences, even though they're stock audiences, that they're gonna have way more competition versus other audiences. Let's just say there's an audience for, I don't know, sewing kits. There's not as many people trying to target though, that audience as there are someone targeting someone investor. So anything like the financial sector, housing, those type of things, you're gonna see that the prices are gonna be relatively higher because of the competition. The next thing you wanna look at is uh, the time of year, uh, whether your product is popular that type of year, whether you call it seasonality or it's end of quarter. So for example, health products, usually towards the beginning of the year, uh, there's a lot of demand for it. So because there's so much demand from a consumer standpoint, there's more people likely to buy your things and probably the prices will be better as opposed to towards the end of the year that people are more lax things of that nature, so the prices will be reflected there. You're also gonna realize that towards the end of each quarter, and sometimes the end of the month, a lot of big agencies, they want to dump ad spend. They have to keep hitting a certain budget amount per quarter or per month, so that they, they can get allowed more budget for the next month. So what happens there is, you see a lot of ad people, uh, big spenders spending money, and for as much as you're spending money on YouTube ads, you can't compete with the likes of big corporations like Microsoft, Oracle, so on and so forth, or anything that's backed up by a startup capital firm. Another reason uh, your YouTube ads audience may be too expensive is that restricting with your ad show, whether it's your ad scheduling, whether you're limiting by demographic, income level, or you are limiting by location, all these things make your pricing more expensive. So these are things you have to take into account. Sometimes you're gonna find that when you're targeting, let's just say, a whole bunch of devices, a whole bunch of audiences, all the genders, things of that nature, you're gonna find that yes, technically you're not as profitable in one of those subsections, but you have to say to yourself, hey, because I'm targeting this subsection and it's negative, is it really affecting my overall performance? Because you can look at sometimes a campaign and you could break down, oh, mobile, 35, 54, 35, 44 men that live in New York, that's my best audience. But if you do that, you're gonna find yourself that you may have to raise your bids to a level that your CPMs are just too high 
is not sustainable. On top of that, you're gonna run into ad fatigue. So the more restrictive your audience, the more your YouTube ads audience is going to be expensive. And these are usually all the main reasons why a YouTube ads audience is expensive. Once again, if you wanna learn more tips and tricks for free, feel free to check out our channel. And if you really wanna get in-depth analysis, step-by-step -step process to see how we get our clients to scale and spend tens of thousands of dollars a day in YouTube ads, feel free to click on the link and book a call with us and see if we can help you out and our courses for you.